class is in session. Master Gable has arrived. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable! Chad Gable, proven ability to teach and lead as the head of the Alpha Academy. Chad Gable always competes at the highest level, both mentally and physically. Oh, Saxton, stop sucking up. Gable will never thank, thank you. you. has done away from the bloodline and he is definitely worthy of the main event moniker first man in over three years to pin roman reigns nearly defeated the tribal chief went on and earned multiple titles without his family but jay will not be happy until he is on top of the mountain all by himself See Jey Uso yeet some fools. No yeet. We don't do that, Saxton. Especially I do. you. No. Yeet. Yeet. With Jey Uso, you have to remember, we're looking at a tag team specialist who's really made a name for himself as a singles competitor as of late. Defying his... And will this be it? And he gets the shoulder up before two. So resilient. Oh my, they're trying to... Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Crafty way to get out of harm there. Now, some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. Rolling into a monkey flip. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. Jay looking powerless to every attack. Jay will prove difficult to keep up with here. Corey, what's the number one thing you have to do if you want to succeed against Jay Uso? You must keep your focus on Jay at all times. Jay is fast and an agile competitor who has the ability to strike from anywhere. Keep him squarely in your sights at all times. You won't be caught off guard and you might find an opening of your own to attack. What could Chad be looking for? He's got to know he's in harm's way here. Watch out! Diving front drop kick! He could pin his opponent right here. And the referee stops the count before two. He's not even close to being done yet. Yeah. Jarring impact. Chad has taken the advantage here. He's kept his focus on Jey Uso and found an opening of his own. He must have seen that coming. Wow, Filling up Stelly. That puts a stop to Gable. Jay managing to find some of that needed breathing room. Jay showing it's not a time for lying down, it's time for fighting back. And Gable had it scouted. Uh-oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. And Jay took a solid hit that time. 
Yeah, as Gable once again proving just how effective the teachings of Alpha Academy can be. Getting too cocky here could come back to haunt him. A defensive elbow to the gut ends that. Looking for a belly to back suplex. Back suplex into the neck breaker. Is it enough? Two. And Chad Gable powers out. Close call. That was almost lights out. Just end this now. Oh, he's playing possum. Oh, my. How in the world did he kick out of that? Keeping a loss at bay for now. He went right into that turnbuckle. Going after the ankle here. He's doing ankle breaker. Lifts their opponent's uh, legs. Uh, oh. just, that's a free fall. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Wow, what agility. The close of this match is just ahead. Yeah, this is not good. You don't say, Saxton. Jay Uso could go back from this. After all, he has been down since day one-ish. What does that even mean? Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Oh, spear! Jay nailed all of it. That's gotta be it. Two. It's over. Brutality finally comes to an end. And Gable was unable to get it done. Jey Uso has made it perfectly clear he's ready to put everyone on lockdown.